morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do, with a P.O. positive or pet fee, followed by the weather. P.O. positive or pet fee. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing... party invitations? Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Touché, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's... <laughs> it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touché, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith.
Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, who are you? What, for real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great, and now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing, the helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again.
Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Oh dear, so glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet. Are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Ooh, interesting.
That's heavier than I thought. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. 
Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. <laughs> Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. All right, let's watch this. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. <laughs> 